It's been about six months, seven months now since Hosni Mubarak was ousted out from his position of power. So it's a very crucial time at the moment for Egypt. And I have the pleasure now of being with one of the new faces of the new transitional government. He's the Minister for Tourism, His Excellent, Mr. Adbel Noor. So it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for um, taking time out to meet me. It's my pleasure. We're very eager in finding out what your relationship with the EU and, of course, with Catherine Ashton, the head of foreign affairs in the EU. She was, she was here on Monday. Um, I believe that you did say that you didn't want the EU to send a mission to monitor the elections, but that you're having discussions. So kind of clear it up and tell me exactly what it is that you do want and expect from the European Union. Yeah. We are welcoming NGOs representative from the EU or elsewhere. What we don't want is official government representative to observe the elections. So what help are you getting then from the EU? Oh, uh, they are, uh, in fact, they have financed uh, uh, the uh, purchase of equipment uh, required uh, for the elections, uh, including uh, election booths and so on. Okay, and just to get, we would like to get to know you a bit better. So, can you tell me that you were in government before for in the opposition party for thirty years? Did you have, um, did you know Mubarak quite well, and how was it? What was it to work with him? I know him quite well. No, I met him several times, but I mean, uh, no, I didn't. I mean, he wasn't a friend. Uh, I knew his son. I knew Gamal. I had, uh, I met him several times. Uh, I had long chats with him. And, uh, in fact, a lot of uh, the ministers of the previous regimes were uh, friends, uh, but I had a totally different view. And what are the biggest challenges now, do you think, for the country? What are? The biggest challenges now for you. The biggest changes? Challenges. Ah, challenges. Oh, no, I mean, uh, the challenge is across the board. We have uh, an economic challenge, we have a political challenge, and uh, our challenge is to lay the basis uh, for, uh, uh, f- to build uh, a democratic, uh, secular, modern uh, country. And it is a challenge. I mean, the transition Uh, towards democracy is in itself a challenge. We hope uh, to succeed as soon as possible. You know, it has taken a lot of time and uh, the transition has taken a lot of time in many Eastern European countries and we hope to uh, be, uh, to have a smoother and a quicker transition. Thank you very much.